Holy cow, how different is that? So you go from a 92 degree shoulder turn to a 111 degree shoulder turn. And look at the spine angle tipped over to the left too much. Yeah. So you see your spine angles 84 degrees yeah, there straight up versus down. 90. This is that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm much like yeah. taller for sure. This is much safer way to move here. So from the, the blue, you've got to early extend to get that club somewhere near the swing plane. I think that's why you're feeling yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like you have to stand to make the room for the shaft. Right. We get sent a lot of training aids to try out, and for us, they've got to be three things, right? Yep. They've got to be simple to use, has to be, has to provide good feedback, reliable feedback, and then it has to force you to do the work. We don't like training aids that do the work for you because, you know, the research shows that you're really not learning the skill it's trying to show you. Well, we've got here in our hands a divot board, and this kind of hits all three. One, it's very simple to use. Two, it provides incredible feedback. You can see right there, your club comes through the so-called ball there, the little yellow spot. It's gonna show you exactly how it did that. And then this forces you to make the correction of putting the club on the ball in the right places with the right path, heel toe, toe to heel. This forces you to do all of that. Now, if you wanna find out more about this, how we use it, how we recommend you use it, and what it's gonna do for your golf game, just click on the I card above in the top right, top left-hand corner of this video. It'll take you to our full analysis of this training aid, show you exactly how we use it, and show you why we love it. Okay. Good. Stay right there, I'm gonna keep All giving right. you the balls. You're gonna hit about three shots, just normal, full swings. Okay. Don't try to do anything different. Okay. Just there like you go. whatever. Larry Bird's on now, I like there it. You go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got that. Those are coming uh, back. That was in right? the net. That was in the like net. must have fell off something. Right. Uh, I bet that's why I got. Do I need to wait on anything or just go when I'm ready? Uh, I'll tell you when you're ready to go. Right. Oh, why well, his captures kept screwing up? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Or they we wouldn't snap to it. Yep. Yeah, just like the third lesson in a row. All right, we're gonna get a couple more. All right. One more. Put a spin on it. I did. Basketball pass. <laughs> Weird foot move. Let's grab one more. Sure. Some... I don't think it's going to matter. Okay. So we're gonna look at this. Okay. Talk about you like you're not here. Fine. <laughs> I just stand over here. It's good. Yeah, you just stay right there. Want to keep you in front of those cameras. Got it. I'm literally saying the hip stop. Yep. We got to. It's so interesting. That pattern is a definite pattern. Like a legit. This one of them. That's some good stuff. Yeah, the other guy did. It was just a. It's just that. Throws the hips forward. It's that heave. Cool. So you heard us mention heave there. Let's let's kind of discuss what we talk about when we say heave. So we describe the heave as someone that is on the backswing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the arms and the club need to move up on a certain plane, right? Well, they're they're kind of cheating it. They're using their body like a teeter totter and tipping this shoulder down to the ground and, and tipping their body toward the target, and that allows them to get the arms up. But that's not the right way to do it. No, yeah, you're exactly right. It's, it's getting the club up. They're kind of heaving like a counterbalance yeah. almost to heave it up. That works kind of in the first half of the backswing, but you really pay for it in the second half of the backswing, as you'll see as this lesson keeps unfolding. So you do a number of good things. Yeah, I feel like there's just something I'm missing. That yeah, so. <laughs> does it allow me to swing? I know hard's not the right word, but to swing without slowing myself down. Yeah. That's what I feel like. In order to hit the ball, something I'm doing in my downswing makes me slow down. So let's look at let's look at what that is. So, 
set up very neutral, right? 92 degrees with your spine angle. That's all good. The angles look here. Look, I mean, setup looks pretty solid. Look down the line. You got your hips over your ankles. All that's really good. Once you start moving, watch this top number right here, this rib cage sway. Yeah. So a minus number is you moving away from the target, positive number is you moving towards the target. Okay. So your hip starts moving minus. Start, start moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. And that's definitely what I feel when I hit the ball best. I feel like I, I almost have to sit back. I almost have to like feel like I'm falling backward. To me, that's what it feels so, like. When I'm, not necessarily when I'm backswing, but like when I'm through, I have to feel like I... Well, this is this is this. This is showing lateral. So let's oh, okay, let's say okay, you got a yeah yeah. Yeah, this is straight I'm lateral. Actually swaying that way. Yeah. So if you had a tennis ball in the middle of your chest yeah. and one in the hips, your tennis ball up on the top here is going this way mm. as you start okay. back. So that puts you in a you. bad spot. The so top. Let me put right, right. Uh, let me put a line here. Oh, okay. On where's it at? Ball position. All right. So now we got a line straight up going through the middle of the ball. See that right there. So what he's talking about, say your chest now, yeah. this little dot here is out in front of the ball. Uh -huh. Well, that looks where it throws your left shoulder way out in front of the golf yeah. ball. Uh -uh. So you never get turned, you never can get turned behind it. Now what are you doing the downswing? Like you, you should be moving forward. Back. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. So the hips kind of got to stop. Yeah, everything has to. Now you got to try to get back there behind the ball. Yeah. And you got two options. So you do have shaft lean, but you're getting shaft lean because now the ball is way back. You're either going to have shaft lean and hit it really low, or you're going to dump the angles, get rid of your shaft lean, and get it in the air. So you can imagine what this is doing with the driver. I, I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. it's just, yeah, I see what happens with the driver. And it's actually. This, that's why I like this better because when I hit the ball, the ball could go anywhere. And exactly. it's really hard to say what you did wrong just by looking at the ball for me. At least, it's tough know. to go move in front of the ball and then, and then try to get back behind it. Yeah. So okay. that's essentially okay. the, I mean, the, and what we look for here are outliers. Like what are the red flags? That's essentially it. That's pulling your, you can see like from that video that you watched. So this yeah. is your pelvis trace here. You can see that shoulder movement down and forward. Mm. So that starts to pull your right. hips towards the ball. Okay. So trying to get rid of this hip movement, that's why you could do it for a couple of days and it just went back to normal. You really weren't trying to, you really weren't fixing the car. Yeah, the exactly car. right. Huh. Exactly. I think well, that could be, yeah, that could be very true because I don't focus on any sort of feeling in my shoulders when I'm back doing my yeah. back swing, so. Yeah. Yeah. Get some Pac-Man going. Yeah. All right, so what we're talking about with Pac-Man, and we're going to use Adam Scott's swing here as an example. We like this swing because he's wearing light-colored clothes. He makes a golf swing that has very little outliers in it, right? just a solid, foundationally sound golf swing, and the camera's in a stationary spot. So I'm going to do my best to draw a little Pac-Man. We're going to start up the front of his chest, circle around, and then come up by his leg like that, and those would be the dots that the Pac-Man would be eating. Now... The idea here is not to eat those dots, not to close the Pac-Man's mouth in the backswing. You can see here as he turns, his chest stays up, and he's turning 90 degrees to that spine angle he has set up at address. There's no point in the backswing that you need to start really side bending and crunching that chest down to the, to the ground, actually. You'll start closing that Pac-Man mouth and uh, eating the dots, and you want to avoid eating the dots when you look at your swing. That's a little bit too narrow this way. So you, I'm going to have you feel like you take your that sensor up here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get your set up. Let me have your club. Oh, yeah. Cross your arms over your chest. Okay. This sensor is going to feel like it moves hot, like across okay. and high. Right. So have you ever been make, told to steepen your shoulder? Shoulders? Uh, I don't know if I've been told that specifically. That's what okay. There. Yeah. There. Okay. So mm. th you don't want to crunch this angle too much because hmm. as soon as you crunch it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, because that's what I, normally I feel that. Yeah, that's not good. That's, right. So you you're saying more yeah. like up there, or keep the head. Okay, Do it again. Further back. Do it right. again. Beautiful. And this is gonna feel high. Okay. So a more of a it feels much more like instead of like yeah, you know, it feels much more squatted and 
like I feel a lot more going on. <laughs> okay, do that again. There, to get. Yeah, to do get that again. All right. Stay up, you know. So your setup, just make sure your legs are bent just a little bit. Don't okay. don't squat too much. Right. And then watch. The only thought is to take this shoulder across. Bingo. Just like that. You want to film that one, Mike? Yep. See what that looks like. Do that again. Little, yep. That actually looks a lot better there. there All right. So let's let's look at that. So you can. So that shoulder. what you just made there is a correct pivot. Okay. And rotation. <laughs> yeah. It's just different motor pattern. Yeah. You have, you have to practice I it. assume that's also why when you get tired and stuff starts uh, Absolutely. <laughs> it starts uh, yeah. going a little bit sideways too. The correct motion is harder to do than the one you want to do. Yeah, a hundred percent. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. <laughs> no, easy it is. <laughs> yeah. that, look, I can see it looks a lot better, right? The one on the left is my old one, it looks like. Yeah. The one on the right is the newer one. So obviously we took the club away, took the arms away. Yeah. You can see how your right shoulder disappears much earlier behind your head. So. And you see that, that sensor there now is way behind the ball. You can even see the Fujikura sign back there. Oh, it's, yeah, it's blatantly obvious to me. Like my right, you don't see my left leg doesn't mm -hmm. kick in nearly as, you know, or like it, kick forward, right. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't do that as much. Yeah. So the, the thing you got to figure out now, so that's that's the body. The, the problem is when we first show somebody that, they end up going like this the first time because they're <laughs> right. using the body to get the arms up. So that'll be the next piece here. With the club and keep the... Yeah, because <laughs> the, the reason I say this is lazy is because I can, I can heave the club up by just kind of leaning to the left. Right. So you're going to have to use your arms. That's how a lot of golfers... Pick they, it up, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of fake plane it. Yeah. Doing that. You're going to have to use the arms to provide the up and the swing plane, and the body provides the, the turning. Okay. So let, let's see you make that same pivot now with the with club the in your hand. Yeah. That's going to be uh, interesting, right? So that would be... Uh, Stand up just a little taller. Okay. You know, like that? Yeah. You know, don't squat your legs as much. Just right. kind of barely bend them. Yeah. No, not quite. Oh, up more. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it right there. Okay. Don't move a muscle. Hold it. Now swing through. <laughs> Do that again. Oh, we got it. Cool. Oh, okay. when, we, when we clap, we're just triggering the microphone. I got you. Oh, for a ball. We're real yeah. happy about that ball. one. Yeah. <laughs> it was perfect. I can yeah. tell. And then when you start down this time, don't pull this way. Just stay wide. Okay. Don't, wide. Don't, don't narrow yourself at all. Just keep the same width. From the yeah, because you okay. went like this, and that messes the pitch of the club up. But that was better. Watch this move right there. That steepens it too much. Okay, I got you. So it's actually going to feel more like, for me, like I'm saying, actually out more. Like, I'm because I've always tried, you've been told, like, swing from the inside or whatever. Yeah. So that's me dropping. Yeah, I don't want you to do that. that. I don't want yeah. you to do that. Okay, I'll try not to. The, <laughs> the position we're putting you in is going to provide all the inside, right. okay? So this part is the... Yeah, go ahead. So... Yep. Good. Hold it right there. Mm -hmm. Relax. Okay. Relax a little bit. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. Keep your width this way. Okay. Right. Please, and don't please. try to swing from the inside. Just make a swing through. Perfect. He's gonna be a the, good. The back swing provides the. the He's gonna be the, the Yeah. The yeah. The divot board candidate. Huh? Divot board candidate. Oh yeah. What was that? <laughs> uh, we got this thing we're gonna use on you. Oh, all right, sure. <laughs> all the fun. Use all the toys you want. Yeah. That's fun. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't have that steepener. Wasn't too that's, bad there, was it? That's way from the inside. Yeah, you, you don't need, yeah. You don't have to try to hit from the inside. Yeah. Uh, it's probably just, again, it's me. Uh -huh. When I first started playing and kind of teaching myself the swing, I was, you know, hitting it too much with a slicer. So I, I think over time, I kind of developed the inside and Type, you know, something yeah. that, oh, 100%. I put in a bunch of stuff that I didn't need, I'm okay. sure. Let's do that again. Okay. I'm going to do one more thing because I see what you're doing. All right, so. Oh. Okay, pretty good. I'm going to tip you this way a little. When you start down, okay. I want you to feel like that. Don't okay. do anything to lag. Don't pull. Don't pull. Okay. First move down, just let the club start swinging out, okay? Okay. So let's start again. Do my best. Yeah, don't, don't try to lag it or anything. So, Take it up and hold it. Okay, right there. 
All right, ready? Just zip, swish it through. There we go, got the ground. How was that one? Look better. The ground. You see what I'm trying to get out of there, that little? So right off the bat, look where that shoulder sensor is now. I love that. Yeah. Huh, okay. There we go. That's getting cleaner now. So I told you not to do any lagging and to stay wide and watch. I mean, this is. Let be, me pull up one of yeah. his earlier ones to show him. So the top, you got this kind of angle to your shaft here. That's how it gets steeper right there. Just kind of pitching back behind you too much. And it's pointing now. Oh, God. Kind of inside the ball or right at the ball. Yeah. It's just too, your hands are just too deep. Yeah, they're stuck behind you there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, right here, I mean, if you had a, you know, a normal golf shirt on with buttons on it, mm -hmm. so your hands would be below the buttons. Right, so here, your hands are way yeah, behind the buttons. That. That's stuck. Yeah, it's right. like the pitch of the shaft ain't crazy different, but your hands are out in front where you can use them. Yeah. You're not so behind where you have to flip at the last second. And if we look at both of those from face on. There's plenty of shaft lean if the ball was there. Yeah. You see how much more across the chest that left arm is stuck? Yeah. Yeah, see. the other one's like way out of behind, yeah. almost behind or this one, the side, right? Your bicep's straight down there, and this one, it's yeah. right, technical issues. So here. when you're starting down going like this, that keeps it behind your body too much. All right, let's try it with a little ball. Foam ball. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and set up here. Shank it too badly yeah, somewhere off the... Exactly. Okay. Let's try it. So. Good. Take it up and hold it. Right there. Okay. All right. Just chip Double it. Good. Let's the ball. It's <laughs> a victory. That looks so good. Yeah, it looks really <laughs> better. Much better going back. That's a turn. Yeah, and that's starting to there come down go. in front of you. Arms down in front of you. Usually finish quite a bit differently too. Like I usually have like an up and over the shoulder around the head wrapped kind of finish. This one much more in front of my head. <laughs> yeah. It's a different look. Yeah, good. I mean, the rest of it is getting used to the fact that from the top, you know, you've got to be forward and let this leg move like that. You just, I think you'll get there. That's why it still looks a little thrown. Because you, when, when your body stops, your club will go this way. But, you know, this needs to be forward and this knee will come in and you can get your Yeah, he's so in. used to having to stop his lower body so yeah. his upper body can get behind it. But this is the first step. Like, your lesson today is like, okay, we'll get the back swing right. Yeah. Right. Cause then you have a chance coming down. Like, and now you know not to steep, like pull in. Downswing, not something you want to spend a lot of time working on. Yeah, we don't spend a ton of time on <laughs> shallow. You can't, you can't do this it. Happens it's happens a quarter of a second yes. for the whole downswing. And yeah. you might have a thought, like I, you know, I'll think about my right leg then and yeah. then sometimes, or you know, but for the you most part, you it in the downswing. Yeah, for the most part, if you get this pretty well taken care of and organized at the top, the, the downswings. You don't have to think about shallowing and, and that kind of stuff right. or lag. Yeah. Makes sense? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's do a few more. Yeah, get, the, get the back swing right. It, 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 so, it, it'll take you a long ways there. Yeah. Uh, so, so far, the hardest part is just getting that because to me, I feel like I'm really straining hard to get there. So when I get there, I, like he's telling me to relax as yeah, I get there because I, I feel like I'm having, I'm working really hard. So I which, don't know if which I actually part? Need to. It's interesting because 
the comment we always hear when guys turn their shoulders really steep and when we get them out of that is that it feels easier to do. So which part of that is, I'd is strange? I'd try and get there and see what it is. I don't, it feels like almost on this side. On the left? It's almost like it's stretching my arm a little bit. Okay. I feel like I'm pushing really hard, like back. Away from you? Yeah, like okay. maybe forcibly giving myself more distance. Maybe I don't actually have to do that. <laughs> put, the, put the club across your shoulders and just make it without the arms for a couple times. Does that still feel strained? Uh, is, it doesn't kind of feel on my arms, it's fine. Yeah, so that's, that's too so steep. So it's not too steep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still need this. And it's really, watching you do yeah. that, it's really these first few inches where you go this way and then try to turn around. So I just, I need to skip that part. Huh? Yeah, so just feel like, yeah, I feel like you keep this a little higher from the get go. I think I can, what helps is just feeling my, this side not being. <laughs> yeah, crunch, tr side so crunch, much. yeah, absolutely. So maybe if I focus on that. That is such a different turn than, yeah, I'm definitely it's a, it's a big not doing that. <laughs> right now it feels like it's almost just a straight feels horizontal like to me what it's going to feel like. horizontal yeah because you keep in mind that you have so we, we don't we don't set up like this right, right and then try to yet. find tilt yeah. we're already tilted so you right. just kind of turn around that spine right That's so right. yeah it right. should feel more horizontal to you yeah it should feel like this much bigger shoulder just like this out. basically yeah. just you're that's here it. doing it. That's exactly right. Like, like if you stood tall and hit a right. ball. Right, it's like this, right? That's yeah, it. it's exit. Yeah, it's, it's funny how even though that seems so simple to do that whenever I put a club in my hand, it just, yeah, that's, thoughts like that kind of that's how go I out of the window for me. I don't know what it is, but we'll get it. Tore up right. Yeah, it's pretty really good. I'm just keeping you from tipping. Okay. Yeah. Your eye line's going to feel like that more instead of like that. Okay. Yeah. Because hmm. well, when you tip your head down, like you're pouring water over your ear, it makes it worse. Mm. Yeah. It's all meant to be better to feel like Yeah, just let the head turn a little bit. <laughs> you're doing fine. Work your way to it. There you go. There you go. Now chip it from there. Oh. Mm. Good. Done that. Yeah. That's why we use foam balls. Yeah. Because you don't really, you're not too worried about uh, where you hit it yet mm -hmm. because you've got to change the pattern first. Right. And then once you get it, you're, you'll start figuring out the release. Okay. Let's, put, um, let's put the divot board down instead of the foam sure. ball. Sure. See how that goes. Give them. All right. So this thing here is actually pretty handy. Can I borrow your club for a second? Yeah. So you stick it down here. Let me stand here for a second. So there's your ball, right? Right. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> And when you hit it, you can <laughs> see. So you get a chance to make the swing change. And know where the ground is. Yeah, don't worry about the ball. But you can also work on the where the club hits the ground. And you can see if you make like a crazy path, you can kind of see where it <laughs> stripes it. That's a cool little thing. It I is. Like that. Yeah. It really is. It's the, you know some of the best training aids are just super simple. This one, you don't even have to beat a lot of balls. You get real good benefit right. out of it. Step on that real good. I think it'll stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool training thing. Let's go ahead and get up there and make sure it's in the right place. How's that feel? Is that okay? Is it? I can get, yeah. You can get a little off the board if you need to. Oh, well, come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, then, yeah. yeah. Get You're okay, right there. Right. One second. All right. There All we right. go. Mm hmm. So that one, you would you would have shanked that ball, right? Yes, I would have. You're correct. But that's good, right? I mean, it's it's good feedback. Right. Then you're not just standing there, you know, making right, wondering what exactly what right. Or you don't get the shank. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't bounce yeah, balls on the house. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
nice. work. So I'm gonna give you uh, <laughs> this work, isn't it? B minus. Yeah. <laughs> give you a B minus on this one. Okay. So let's let's look at a good way you can look do this at home. We actually didn't get set up, but you can drop a line just straight down the outside of your shoulder. Okay. Let's see how far does that shoulder move away? So not a lot through here. And then if we look at get another example here. Come on. If we do the same thing here with him. Let me see how much farther that shoulder is moving away. Yeah, it's a little hard to see on mine. I need to wipe that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like maybe a couple yeah. inches, probably six inches here. Yeah. You look at the shirt, shirt seam. Yeah. So you're 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 on the right path. Just just still a little bit exactly down there. Path. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Double plate ready. These are pretty nice, dude. Is I like those. Great. I like that. It looks so cool. I do too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. That's why we're using that. Hitting yeah. the ground now, at least. Yeah. Let's look, let's, let's look at that. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that, that's a lot better that motion. <laughs> so all we all we add in there is the back end. The what? The back end from there. Yeah. Hold it right there. Just feel like your arms are just a little bit shorter. You don't, okay. have, to, you don't have to crank them back quite so right. far. Yeah. yeah, big shoulder turn, short arms. Yeah, now, now from there. Beautiful. There we go. So you'll get a lot easier way to hit the ground right. in the right place when you don't take your arms so far back. Okay. Just cranking too far back. Whoa. So don't strain so much. Yeah. yeah, right there. That's plenty of turn. Okay. Like you're overdoing everything. There All right. Now, so yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying real yeah. hard. Though. Yeah, you're just maxing out. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to talk up there. Okay. Not. <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah. All right. So make it a little easier. Let's try an easier version. There we go. Soften it up so a little. So that feels like that feels like I can talk. So that better. was a huge shoulder turn, short arm swing. Okay. You're kind of going big shoulder turn, big arm swing, and it kind of takes your breath away. Okay. And that, that's that good? That's what yeah, I no, the big, you can build a golfer in a lab right. and you have a big shoulder turn, short arm swing. Yep. Yeah, the arms don't feel like they're doing a whole no. lot when you do that. Okay. And you were using all arms earlier. Yeah. Excellent. You see how much easier it is to find yeah. in front of the ball? Okay. Awesome. Uh, So. Okay, you're ready. All right, let's take a look. Well, I screwed that up. That was hard for me to not waggle. <laughs> that's, that's something I think I do unconsciously. What's that? Waggle? No. Not Everybody waggling. does. It's, uh, it's certain <laughs> waggles when they go over the ball, it thinks you're yeah, going to hit it. I'll do my best. No, no that's no big deal. So you've already gotten behind the ball. Oh, uh, with the shoulder, the shoulder? Compared mm -hmm. to never getting behind the ball right. before. So we'll yeah, just put them, we can just put them on top of each other. Double awesome. Nice job. Difference in turn there. Right. Holy cow, how different is that? So you go from a 92 degree shoulder turn to a 111 degree shoulder turn. And look at the spine angle tipped over to the left too much. Yeah. So you see your spine angles 84 degrees yeah, there straight up versus 90. 
This is that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm much like yeah. taller for sure. This is much safer way to move here. So from the the blue, you've got to early extend to get that club somewhere near the swing plane. I think that's why you're feeling yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like you have to stand to make the room for the shaft. Right. Or I'll be too close. I'm be too close to the ground. I'll just basically right hit it in the ground. yeah it's so there's the, there's the ball position there so on the yellow which is the the one you just made you got your spine right on top of the ball here your spine shoulders everything is in front of the ball okay. super difficult to play from there very good very good cool all right just confirming what you're doing let's keep going we hope you guys enjoyed that lesson with jason um this was a big deal, and we liked that Jason gave us so much feedback throughout the lesson. We thought this was a perfect lesson to share with everyone because he was relaying his feels, what he was trying to do previously versus what he was feeling now as he was working through a lesson. And this is a big deal in the golf swing, how you move your shoulder early in the swing. And you saw how early it was started working with Jason really will have a big impact on how you certainly get to the top and come out of the top. Absolutely, and I, I struggle with it with my own game sometimes. It's, it's almost a little bit of a lazy move to tilt this way because mm -hmm. it helps you get the club up, but you've got to really focus on getting this shoulder to move across, using your arms and wrists correctly to set the club on plane. And if you can do that and get into a better spot, you're going to increase your shoulder turn and give yourself for a better chance to make a good on-plane downswing. When you tip the other way, you're almost setting yourself up for a steep downswing, yeah. and you have to make all these compensations not to do that. So... Don't discount A, the setup, and right. B, the first foot or two of the swing because it sets up such a domino effect the rest of the way. Yeah, it's such a restrictive move to not let this shoulder move across you. and We it just is. really don't see great players do that. Because of that, then you're forcing the arms and, you know, you have the extension and all that to really try to kick in and save the shots in many cases. And uh, it doesn't need to be the case, as you saw here with Jason. So we hope you enjoyed it. Jason did a great job. Thanks for letting us share it, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a like. Also, if you have any questions about today's video, or you have an idea of a video that you want us to shoot, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. We read every single comment. We also respond to the comments. So again, leave us a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see. Now, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single week and we don't want you to miss one. So by clicking subscribe, that ensures you're notified right away when a new video comes out. And hey, if you want to add instant distance to your drive, and we all do, everybody wants more distance, go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment below. You're going to see a link. Click on it, it's going to take you to a page. You're going to enter your name and email address. We're going to send you an email where you're going to get access to instant distance which is a video training that we put out we know it's going to help you we know we're going to see you farther down the fairway